Hi everyone, Rachel here, Treehouse Fiber Arts. Hope you guys are all doing well. I was reached out to by the kind folks at Hooks and Needles. They are an organization that puts together subscription boxes for crochet and knitting, and they wanted to send me a couple of their subscription boxes so I could do a review, an unboxing and review for them. I get a lot of these types of um, asks in my inbox and I pass up the majority of them because they don't line up with my interests or my channel, but this one really did. So I said I would love to receive them and share with my viewers the boxes. Just so you know, there is a discount code. I believe I get a little bit of a kickback when you use it, but there is a discount code below if you're interested in trying these boxes out. So the first one I'm gonna to show today is the crochet box. It comes in a really nice box. I have to admit, I kind of would rather get subscription boxes in packaging like a mailer kind of package instead of a box just because I feel so wasteful throwing away these nice boxes. So that's my first take on it, but it's an awesome box. It's so fun to get. I mean, why do we get these subscription boxes? We give them as gifts. A lot of times they make great gifts for other people or we give them as gifts to ourselves because it's just fun. The mystery of what you're going to receive every month is super fun. This particular kit, I believe on their website, costs around $34. I think it's like $33 and some change. So let's take a look and see what's inside and see if it's a good value for us and see if we like the materials inside. So again, this is the crochet box. You open it up. Your beautiful, your yarnful dreams begin here. And like I said, this is the crochet box. And right away, this is a really nice, I love the size of it, booklet from Hooks and Needles. And really pretty photography. What it's got inside here, the table of contents, it looks like it's more than just a pattern book. It looks like they are uh, not only giving you a letter from the founder, they're giving you how to read and understand crochet charts. So if you're new to crochet, this box seems like it would be really good for you or um, someone else you're sending it to. It's got one, two, three projects, which I'll show you what projects they are in a moment. The cozy bottle holder, the crossbody bag, and the boho makeup pouch. Ooh, there's a recipe of the month. I love when people put recipes in things. And then it looks like there's some articles as well. So it's a little magazine of sorts, as well as it's got the crochet glossary, which I think is so helpful. I have been knitting. I've been, I learned how to crochet when I was very young. That was the first kind of needle arts that I learned, but then I put it down for a very long time really became involved in the knitting community and knitting and just getting my expertise in knitting. So crochet has always, it seems like I come back to it and I always have to relearn things. So to have a glossary and to um, have instructions on how to crochet are great for me. So let's take a look just quickly. Let's take a look first what's in the package because for me, it's about the yarn. I know that they source their yarns from either Italy or Portugal. This particular yarn was made in Portugal. It has a beautiful natural feel. It's called uh, Woodland Whisper, and it's 97% Merino, 3% Viscose. And I I'm going to guess that the Viscose is the little Tweety Bits in it. So it is a really natural wool. This is a gorgeous color, and I'm getting three skeins, three 50-gram skeins. There's 92 0.5 yards in each skein, so a little under 300 yards of of this yarn. Um, Woodland Whisper, it's a medium weight yarn, and let's see, it looks to me like it's a um, more of like a, a worsted weight. So if you did not want to do any of the patterns right away, I'm looking at this, although it's a crochet box, <laughs> I might use this for knitting. To be honest, it's beautiful. I think it'd make a great plenty of yarn here for a hat, maybe even a couple of hats. So anyways, let's keep looking at it though. This is a crochet box. See how I lean towards knitting. Okay, so in the box right away, I see these crochet needles or hooks, I should say. You get two 
5.0 millimeter hooks. So I guess nice that they give you two of the same size, but I think it might be kind of nice if they gave me maybe one size that was bigger or smaller than 5.0 with the 5.0 just for, I don't know, variety's sake. Nice wooden handle. It's a lighter crochet hook. It's got a smooth shaft, whatever you call that, neck. I think I should call it a neck. And then the hook itself, I'm going to compare it to the, let's see, do I have a 5.0 in my Lori Holt needles that I love? I have a 4.5. Um, it looks very similar. Of course, this is going to be bigger, um, but it looks very similar in terms of the pointiness of the tip and the length of the neck So, and the hook itself. So hmm, this will be fun to try. I think I might like this part of it at least. We'll see if I like working with the wood. So it comes with that. This is super cute. This is a wooden box and looks like it's gonna take a little elbow grease to open it up, but it, no, no, it did. I just pulled it off. It's it's tight enough that it's not gonna, it's not going to um, open up on you, but oh, I love that gold. Uh, these are the light bulb style stitch markers in there, which is really nice to be able to open and close for crochet. I love this case. I love the wood case. It comes with three darning needles, which I can always use. Um, I'm always losing these, so how cool. And they went the extra step and protected the tips with this rubber, which maybe I'll hang on to as long as I can. But these look like really nice tapestry needles. And then this, what is this? It doesn't say what it is on it, but I have a feeling it has to do with maybe one of the projects. Oh, ooh, it's got two nice zippers with the bigger pulls, which I like. So, and it's a, um, a plastic, um, I don't know, maybe it's acrylic, plastic, whatever, um, zipper teeth. Okay, that's nice. So that, let's take a look at the different projects and see. That is really cool. If one of these projects, which I assume is going to use the zipper, um, that's super cool that it came with this because who likes to have to look for all that stuff, all the accessories? Um, okay, so the first one is the bottle holder, the cozy bottle holder. And I mean, look at the, the photography is great and how to, it really explains how to make it. So the cozy bottle holder, let me see out of camera if I can find a picture of it, but look at how it gives you all the, the steps. That is great. Um, oh, here's the bottle holder. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, so the other one is the Urban Crossbody Bag. Gives you the same steps. Looks like this is maybe granny squares. And this is the one that uses the scissors. So, or uses the zipper, sorry. That is adorable. I would totally make that. So my kit came in that blue. That is so cute. That's granny squares. It shows you how to make that and probably... Yeah, it shows you how to insert the zipper as well. So very cool. The third project is the makeup pouch. And, oh, that uses the zipper too. Okay, so they give you two zippers if you, I bet there's enough yarn here to make two of the projects. But that is, that's really cute too, the makeup pouch. Okay, so I really like these crochet patterns that it that came with it and this oh and then ooh I won't tell you what the recipe of the month is or should I it's cinnamon cookies <laughs> very fun okay so in all I mean I think let's think about this shall we I think each of these skeins of yarn if you're thinking about value and this was like $34 I mean the zippers are each at least a couple of bucks each skein of a natural fiber, light worsted DK weight is at least, you know, 10 to $18 for a 50 gram. And then it's got three patterns. 
And then the hooks, I mean, hooks can cost you anywhere from $4 to $18, depending on what brand. And this is a, this is a wooden hook. So that's usually a little more pricey. I think this is a great value. I absolutely love the yarn that came with this crochet, um, crochet kit. And I actually, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think I might either make the bag, either of the bags. I think that's incredible that I actually think I like the patterns that came with this one. What happened to me in the past before with other yarny kind of boxes is I'd get the yarn. I love the yarn, but I didn't care for the patterns. But this I do care for. So there you go. I think this is such a good deal. <laughs> I think it's a really good value given that I really like this yarn. Sometimes when you get these surprise kind of subscriptions, the yarn isn't really your jam. But I know with other subscription boxes, if you go on to Ravelry, I haven't looked into this for this one, or if you go online, they have like trading groups where you can either trade colors or you can sell the colors you don't like and buy the colors you like. And I think too that I read that on the Hooks and Needles website, you can get more of the yarns. Don't quote me on that, okay? All right, so if you really liked this box, I wouldn't hesitate, in an, and you're in the market for getting a subscription box, trying it out, I wouldn't hesitate trying to, trying one, if you have not yet, trying this Hooks and Needles crochet box. Uh, and remember, I've got the 20% off discount code in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this really quick unboxing and review. And we will see you again really soon. Bye.